Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. If you have ever, or if you habitually sanitize after touching everybody's keyboard, you're probably a sysadmin, so you probably wanna hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm gonna take you guys through finding software uh, in inventory, just quick ways to find out if what's on your network and how to go after specific machines that have that software. To do that, we're gonna go to, uh, and I'm gonna select all computers, I'm gonna go to reports, we're gonna go run a report. We're gonna run the application report. This report comes standard with PDQ and Matura when you install it. There it is. And there's a lot to look at. Personally, when I'm looking for applications, I like to group by the application name. So I am gonna right click and group by this column, the name column. Check it out. I've got 18 machines that have seven zip on it. The other nice thing you can do is you can obviously scroll through here and look at what's out here. I've got some Bluefish, Bonjour, you know, I was looking the other day and I saw something called OBS Studio. Check that out. It's on one of my machines, Microverse. I honestly don't know what that is. The good thing is from here, I can click on the machine and it's gonna actually open the machine up and I can go see there's OBS Studio and it does have an uninstall string. So I can uninstall it. Let me show you another way to find that same thing. So OBS, OBS Studio, since I am the amazing typist that I am, I'm gonna right click and just copy the name of the software. And then I'm gonna minimize that and go to new dynamic collection. I'm gonna call this OBS Studio, it's not software. And I am going to look in the application where the name contains OBS Studio. Give that an okay. And now I have a new dynamic collection with the machine that has that in there. So things to take away from this, uh, Reports are gonna give you details of what's on the machine, the version, those kind of things. If you just need to know machines that have this so you can work on them, let's say I wanted to work on the machine that had OBS Studio on it, I could right click and then obviously I could go run, you know, tools on, on this machine specifically, uh, run a remote command, you know, whatever. So that's the difference between using a dynamic collection report. Again, reports, more detail, collections, something I don't work work on. I want to uh, deploy to or run commands again. So, hey, thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.